السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد Dear brothers and sisters, greetings of the peace. Halal products are gaining worldwide recognition and it's a benchmark for the safety and quality assurance. Pharmaceutical industry, which is production, use, and sale of the drugs and medicine is also no exception, which also looks for the halal standard. So aligning with the halal standards is very crucial for every Muslim consumer. Why Muslims need halal products? In Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 168-168, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya ayyuhal nas, Kulu mimma fil ardi halalan tayyiba, Wa la tattabi'u khutwat al-shaytan, Innahu lakum aduvun mubin. O humanity, eat from what is lawful, what is halal, and what is good on the earth. Do not follow Satan's footsteps. He is truly your sworn enemy. He is a clear-cut enemy for the human being. That means we have to eat halal and toyib, what is lawful and what is good. If otherwise, it is like following the footsteps of Satan. In Surah Al-A'raf, Verse number 157, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, وَيُحِلُّ لَهُمُ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْخَبَائِثِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes lawful for the people what is good and he will prohibit what is bad. This Quranic ayah underscores also importance of consuming what is halal and prohibiting what is haram. In another prophetic tradition, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's a hadith on the authority of Sayyidina Abu Hurairah. Ya ayyuhal nas, inna allaha tayyibun la yaqbalu illa tayyibah. All humanity, Allah is pure and he accepts only what is pure. Wa inna allaha amara al-mu'minin bima amara bihi al-mursaleen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed has commanded the believers with what he commanded the messengers. What is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his messengers, to his believers? That is, Ya ayyuhar rusul, kulu min al-tayyibat, wa'amalu saliha, inni bima ta'amaluna halim. Wa qala, ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, kulu min al-tayyibat, ma razaqnakum. In this two Qur'anic ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasized the point, we should eat what is tayyib, what is halal, not only halal, but what is tayyib, it is lawful and it is good. In this hadith, Rasulullah also talks about a person. He travels a lot. He is in a dusty and disheveled. And he raises his hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is praying, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, O Lord, O Lord. But his food is haram. His clothing is haram. His drink is unlawful, then how can he be answered? So this is a very profound tradition which emphasizes the importance of eating haram, eating haram that is against the acceptance of the prayer. So if we want our prayers to be accepted, we have to eat halal, drink halal, and clothing should be also halal. It is a hadith reported in Sahih Muslim. We can also find a very relatable hadith to the halal pharmaceutical industry. An Abi Hurayra radiallahu anhu, annahu qal, qal an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna allaha anzala dha'a wa dhawa'a, wa ja'ala li kulli dha'in dhawa'a, fatadawaw wa la tadawaw bi haram. Indeed, Allah the Most High has sent down both illness and its cure. The shifa and the, the disease and its cure are both sent down by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he has made for every illness a remedy. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa guiding us, seek the remedy, seek the treatment, but do not seek the treatment with anything unlawful. So what is a pharmaceutical thing? What is the medicine? 
it should be also halal it should be also طيب. that is why we need we need halal medicine because the life is a test and trial and we have to comply 100% to the instruction that is divine that is in quran that is in sunnah see you again thank you very much